Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, so in this week's video we're going to give you a tour of our caravan. Uh, the layout, why we chose it, some of the features, the storage, how to make the beds, that kind of thing. Just so again, just to give you an understanding that if you're looking for this kind of layout, hopefully this will answer any questions that you may have. Obviously we'll go over why we chose this caravan. Um, and, and yeah, we'd like to say we'll just sort of go over some of the key points of how this is configured um, and uh, yeah, if you've got any questions then uh, drop them below. So the model we went for was a Swift Sprite 6 TD. Obviously being a family of six, we needed enough space to obviously house us all within the caravan and not ha have anyone in the awning, which is obviously a, another option that, uh, that you have, but again, touring all the different times of the year that can get a bit sort of hot and cold depending on what the sort of yeah the time of the year is so yeah we wanted it all be contained within the caravan um, and the model we wanted in terms of a layout was to be able to have the kids down one end and us to be down the other so if we decide to stay up a bit later have a few drinks watch telly or whatever that may be obviously yeah we're not disturbing them down one end um, and it's worked when they were younger and actually now it's working now they're a bit older where before they would, they would go to bed um, a bit earlier um, and now obviously that they're staying up later but they're wanting to stay in the in bed in the morning so again being able to shut that end piece off it gives them that freedom just to continue just to sort of sleep in um, and for us to get up without disturbing them so um, yeah what I'll do is I'll give you a bit of a walk around and uh, yeah just show you the different configuration so uh, yeah, this is the rear of the caravan. So you've got your two fixed beds. Um, obviously each bed has its own window. So again, you have got that ventilation that comes in and each has its own light you can turn on and off. So again, if they want to get on and do some reading, um, again, they can do without actually having the, the main light on disturbing everybody. So this is the rear sort of eating area, sort of chill out area that the kids can use and obviously this makes into two single beds. In terms of storage, obviously you've got the overhead lockers. Okay, they have a good size. Obviously you've got your normal shelving there if you want to put drinks and stuff up there. Um, and then this is the other storage bin at the top. So there is quite a bit in terms of what's here. Um, under each seat, you also have a storage area. So again, this just lifts up. And again, good for towels or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, quite a, a large space there for bits and bobs. And then that is also the same for this side as well. But just bear in mind, obviously, you might actually have some of um, the beds made, but um, yeah, you have got a, a bigger storage space here as well. Um, yeah, I think that's the only thing you really need to be careful about is what you actually place here because if you make these up into fixed beds again the bed will be running along here so again you want to just be making sure that you can actually get to what you need um, then you've got another storage area here um, again it's entirely to you where you put it here but again it's a, a sort of a fair size and at the rear you put your plugs um, also in within this space which this is where you've got your other cigarette 12 volt uh, connection and um, TV aerial point so most caravans will actually have two points um, but again, that's where the, the second one is normally. Normally have one down one end and the other. 
But again, that gives the kids the, the connections that they need to be able to charge stuff up. Um, and then the other storage area, you have got access to it um, from the rear here underneath and also the locker on the outside but um, again quite a, a large storage area again just a bit of uh, yeah kids toys and bits and bobs wind brakes uh, things that again stuff that I will normally want access to quite easily so again we've got the um, washing line there I'll gain access from the outside but um, yeah a good size and easy to get to and again you can lift this bed up and it does actually clip in using these so if you want to travel and you have that up and, and put something else in there obviously you can put something like a bike um, in that space and secure it if you're traveling um, so yeah, it does give you quite a few different options with this. So if you do want to close this area off, obviously you have this bit here. And this just slides across. Like so. So again, you've still got access to your toilet and you can get in and out of the van. But again, it just allows to sort of have that sort of blackout zone within that space, whether they've sort of gone to bed early or they're sleeping in in the mornings because you've got lazy teenagers like this, like we do. Um, again, it works by just being able to sort of have house them up this end. So to make this into uh, the bedding area, what you will need is the two cushions uh, that will go on the top bunk. You'll have two uh, side pieces like this just to again uh, the child or individual doesn't fall out and then you've got a ladder that will then obviously get onto the top bunk um, but um, yeah if you're purchasing one this, these are the kind of things that you want to make sure that are actually here and included in the purchase Rightio, so like I said uh, first place to start is obviously you need to remove the uh, table out of the way. You've got a little button underneath that will hold that. When you're taking this off, just be careful you don't lift this right up because it will mark the actual side of the caravan. So, this clips down. Then just move your cushions out of the way. There's no need to remove these cushions, they can stay as is. So when you're pulling this piece out, just take it easy in terms of when it slides because you do not want it scratching the wood. So just try and bring it out equ equally at, at that point. You can undo the catches. These will go down. Hold this out. And that gets you the main structure. Obviously you close your curtains. Um, just make it easier to get to normally, um, but again, your preference on that. Then you need your side panels. You've got your two clips here that are just guides into place. Um, and the same with the rear. So again, it's got a little bit of play, but nothing major, but these bits will stay in place. Uh, 
and then your last one is the same. two more catches just here that locks that in place. Um, so that's your main frame. These are the bits again where you just want to make sure that these are actually somewhere in the caravan where you may find these is at the um, in the wardrobe at the front of the caravan just so again they're out of the way because there is sort of a, a larger storage area but just make sure these are included. So that's your your top bunk setup. You would just, just place the table in place. The original cushions that were there will just go back. But then this time the the ones that would normally be your backrest are then placed in the middle. So that would be your bed configuration. Obviously, once you've uh, put all your duvets and everything on, you then just put your ladder to gain access to the beds. Um, but um, yeah, that that's straightforward. When we're away we have these beds set up on a permanent basis before we actually leave we'll, we'll have all these beds set up ready for the trip. We don't sort of take these up and down. If we need any storage we'll use the front of the caravan for that. And some of the reason why we leave these up if we do normally have pretty hectic days when we're out and about either we're swimming we're out for the day and again, at different times, some of the kids may be tired and again, they can then just come into this space and have a bit of a lay down if needs be. Um, like I say, you've got the front of the caravan to actually sit in and, and watch a bit of telly or whatever and lounge. Um, and then you've got the awning to do that as well. So we try and keep this space sort of just a sort of a chill out sort of sleeping area um, most of the time. But um, yeah, that's how easy it is to put these beds up. So when my daughter sleeps here, well obviously we'll have the head up this end, feet down that end, um, and then the bed underneath is really sort of, doesn't really matter. You've got a bit more flexibility where you haven't got the overhead lockers above you, sort of impeding the sort of head space. So um, yeah, this is probably the, the larger bed, um, but again, it's just that height space. Um, and then the other ones are sort of your, your fish finger beds. But again, I've slept on one of these before. Again, it's it can be done. It's again okay, no issue on that front. Um, in terms of weight, so that gives you an idea of exactly what they're designed for and what the load is that they can take on that. Um, so yeah, anybody up to 11 stone um, for the top bunks. And, and again, that's the same for the other side. So again, they're, they're quite a, a, an adult will sleep on these bottom two fine. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend trying to do that on the top bunks. Um, obvious reasons, really. Now, in terms of your shower area, toilet area, this is it. Okay, you've got your separate space, separate toilet and sink. Somewhere to put your toothbrush and uh, makeup and all, all that jazz, whatever you need. And again, another storage area underneath. Um, and one of the common questions normally ask is where's the light switch? And um, yeah, <laughs> it's underneath the sink. Um, and then, yeah, you've got your separate shower unit. But again, fair size, I, I tend to use this more than I do on-site facilities. It's a nice hot shower, powerful. So again, I will tend, well, well I won't tend, I will always use this shower to be fair. Um, but um, yeah, it works for me. One of the areas that we did do was, again, these do come down. So again, if you're thinking about um, putting LEDs in this space, you can. These do just pull out and you get access to 
the actual connections. Um, and again, for these ones, you can just undo these, these screws here. They just twist around, it gives you access to the actual area. But again, you do just pull down. Towel rail. So you've got area to hang towels and bits and bobs on the top. One of the other things that we've added is a motion sensor here. Um, just so again, if you're getting up in the night and you don't want to have the, all the lights on in here and wake anybody up, again, you can just see what you're doing within reason. Um, but um, yeah, just a little optional extra if that's the sort of thing that you want to do. But that is your bathroom area. But for us, we wanted a separate shower and toilet. We didn't want one washroom within. Um, I think that's quite hard to maintain. Um, and just sort of one less area to worry about leaks. So um, yeah, we went for the um, separation for the from the toilet sink and shower itself. But again, that's down to personal preference of what you're after. Again, by having this sort of size, again, you're compromising the other areas. So again, it's just understanding what you want from your bathroom and space within the caravan itself. So this is our kitchen area. Again, uh, fair size, We've got plenty of um, storage above, microwave on this model. And then you've got your cooker and your fridge and everything within this space. This is a 2014 model. Um, so it did come with a microwave within the spec as default. Uh, and again, get um, yeah, yeah, your fair share of what you need in this space. Oh, bingo pens. Don't judge us, but yeah. A bit of bingo is needed when we're away. And again, if you're looking for the power switch, obviously that's it for your microwave. But again, that's only going to work when you're on mains hookup, not on 12 volt ledge battery. Then you've got your gas cooker as normal. Again, got a grill. All done. Um, Fair size, we use this quite often when we're away, depending on the weather. If we can't get the barbecue out, obviously we're, we'll get on and fire this up. But um, yeah, it works perfectly adequate for what you need. And then you've got a bit of storage down here for pots and pans and that kind of thing. Use your cutlery drawer. storage under here bit of a mess at the moment um, but you will find your uh, switches here as well for gas so again if you're struggling to um, get anything to ignite yeah just double check see what positions these are in in terms of what it's letting through and obviously you've got your fridge in this space as well um, what I would recommend for this is um, you would normally sort of, I know we did when we first got the caravan, you've got your your five bar system in here and obviously you think, oh, just stick it on the highest one, that'll be the coldest. Well, it doesn't always work that way. Um, and actually that can cause more problems. So for this, I would just recommend stick it on the, the third setting um, and that should be more than adequate for what you need for your trips away. And then obviously this is your workspace, you have got an extendable piece that comes up. Just about moving that bit out. So again, you've just got that additional storage area as normal. Obviously you've got your 240 volt mains when it, on main hookup. Um, and then you do have your lighting here as well. So again, you can turn this on. Um, this was just an additional one we put in place, just so again, we could highlight and illuminate the actual cooking area a bit easier. But again, that was just personal preference. But that is the majority of your kitchen area. 
Okay, so we'll move on to the front of the van now. And obviously you've got your double bed that will be set up here, which I'll show you in a bit. This is your wardrobe space. Um, again, a really good size. You've got an additional table that will go at the front. Um, or you can put it in your awning. And again, that's just stored away and comes with a caravan as default. Um, this is your sort of TV area or signal in. Um, obviously ignore the solar, that's something that we've put in, but again, something that's easily fitted if that's something you want to do. And then obviously you've got the TV area itself that will go up and down. You just need to unscrew this. Um, and with the actual TV aerial signal, obviously, if you're going to use it, just make sure you switch it on to be able to get the booster to work. And then you've got storage underneath as well. But again, if you're looking for the cushions for the rear that make up the beds, then double check in here because this is more than likely where they are. So in terms of storage, Two lockers here. Um, this end one does not open, that's fixed. Um, so, again, these are your two main ones. And then on the other side, you've got two more. But on this one, this is where your stereo will be, and any other bits and bobs. And this is where I keep fuses and bulbs and that kind of thing just for the van. Um, O-rings and whatever other bits and bobs that I need for spares but again you can use it gives you a bit more additional space obviously with this model you don't get the storage that comes around because obviously you've got your your sunroof window there you've got your center console bit here uh, obviously you've got two drawers there you've got the top bit that comes out that extends for a, a, a eating area for two people again anything bigger that's required you would use the table that was in here and obviously that would just go here or in your awning itself and then in terms of storage under the beds you can get them like the, at the rear one here Put one here and one this side. Now, when I make the bed in a minute, I'll show you, but obviously you've got all your heating element electrics under this side, so you probably don't want to put too much else in there. You don't want to overload it, um, cause a fire or anything silly on that line. So I would just say, yeah, leave that space well alone. And then on this side, you've got this whole area here so what i would say is yeah it's really good for your bedding to get put under there um, and out of the way so this is your main space so what i'll do now is just set the camera up and um yeah i'll make the bed just so you can see the size and how that works righty -o. so yeah when it comes to uh, making the the front bed Get your cushions out of the way. This first one you can flip around because they've because they're shaped and obviously at the front here they go over. You want that to be where your head or your feet are going to be. Otherwise you're going to have an odd shape in the middle of the bed. So that gives you then uh, the shape of a side. And you pull out the centre section.
and that's it as simple as that um, again what you can do if you want to make these into two single beds um, and again you want that space you could still have this set up but again change the configuration in these corner bits and have two people sleeping that way um, but all we do is yeah we will have cushions and um, pillows this side and sleep that way but again yeah really good size let me just show you but yeah a, a fair size for what you need but yeah a few different configurations that you can have just again depends on what your preference is but yeah we've had Louise and I and our youngest in here before um, but um, yeah plenty of space in, on that front um, and then obviously you've got your vents here and at the very front just below this corner bit so you don't want to be putting too much underneath um, otherwise you'll stop that circulation in the colder weather um, but um, yeah no it's um, as simple as that in terms of other bits just to be mindful of you'll have your PIR sensor um, in the bottom left corner so if you're wondering what that is that is obviously connected to your alarm system um, that you're, you should have a remote control I think they were standard um, fitted on the sort of Swift models so that's what that's for and then you've got your usual connections again your second TV point 12 volt normal mains 240 and as I said before these only work when you're hooked up to a, a, the mains hookup on site not off your leisure battery and obviously we've got um, some USB sockets but again that was something that we put in afterwards um, and again check out one of my other videos about actually installing one of those if you want that um, some additional bits instead of using up all the plugs um, and again if you haven't got mains again perfect opportunity to yeah use the get one of those installed because again that runs off your leisure battery so hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the content today uh, the tour of our caravan uh, hopefully it's sort of given you all the answers that you may have had looking at this configuration how the beds actually go up and, and packed away uh, the different points um, around the caravan just to sort of look out for but again as always if you have any additional questions then yeah just drop them in the description below and I'll come back to you but um, hopefully this has given you a really good idea of what to expect the different size storage areas that you've got um, and, the, and the way that we use the space but um, as always we'll call it quits for now and um, yeah if, if you've enjoyed the content again please consider subscribing giving it a thumbs up and I will see you all on the next one. Chisel!